In this video, we want to solve 2021 fall AMC 12A. The equation is this, and we want to solve this problem for preparing for AMC 2022-2023. So let's see the problem is what before solving the problem. Uh, thanks for subscribing, turning on notification, and like my videos. So let's jump into the problem problem number 19 it says let's x be the least real number greater than one such that sine x equal to sine x squared where the arguments are in degrees what's x rounded up to the closest integer 10 13 14 19 20 okay so, like one important thing it is we have also rule for cosine. When sine x, sine of something, let me write for example for sine a. If sine a equal to sine b in general, we can say what? We can say a equal to b plus 360k. One answer, and k is integer. Another answer is a equal to 180 minus b plus 360k. That in both of them. K can be any integer. So this is the general rule for when sine of two things are equal. For cos also we have rules for tangent and cotangent. In trigonometry we have around 15 important formulas that are useful from qualifying level, round one basic level, up to international level, IMO. If you wanted to know them, feel free to send message to my WhatsApp number in the description. Okay, so let's solve this problem let me write rest with yellow so here if we use this point sine x equal to sine x squared so here we can conclude what we say okay x equal x squared plus 360k and for next one x equal 180 minus x squared plus 360k so and the problem says what? If you pay attention, it says x is the least, one important point, real number greater than 1. So greater than 1, least real number. So because x is greater than 1, we can say, okay, x squared is greater than x. Multiply both sides by x, x positive. So let's focus on x. And x is the least one, is minimum. So if we, let's calculate these two things if we analyze one and two x is x squared plus 360k so here we conclude negative 360k equal to x squared minus x if we take x to right hand side and 360k to left hand side we have this so if you pay attention on x squared minus x the graph will be what if i draw the graph with yellow the roots are, it is x times x minus 1. The roots are 0 and 1. So it will be something like this. And because x is greater than 1, it is strictly increasing. And it is after 0, any number. So because we want to find minimum x, x squared minus x, it can be any multiple of 360. k is integer, negative, positive integers. So what's the best k we can say here? So look here, it starts from 0 after 0 a little because x is greater than 1. So we start here. So it goes, the first number it sees that is multiple of 360 is exactly 360. So because x is minimal, so you consider 360. So for this one, now let's analyze second one. And see which of them is better. x equal 180. Let me write. 180 minus x squared plus 360k. So let's analyze this. If I take x squared, negative x squared to left hand side, it will be x squared plus x, 180 plus 360k. Again, if I draw left hand side diagram, we can also imagine this, but I draw for the students, it's hard for them to imagine. It is what? x times x plus 1. The roots are what? If I draw the diagram of left hand side, the graph of left hand side, 0, negative 1. So it will be something like this. And because this the coefficient here is 1, it opens up. 
So here I want to find something like this. If k is negative 1, look here. X is what? X is after 1. So if I place this 1, it will be 1 plus 1, 2. So it, it starts after 2. X is greater than 1. So what's the minimum now? And it is a strictly increasing like previous one. If you want to find minimum X that satisfies this, so we want to find the minimum positive number here. If K is negative 1, it will be negative. Negative 360 plus 180, negative 180. So the best K is 0. So then we can say, okay, x squared plus x it is 0, 180. So we should, you should go until 180. The first number it says is this, and the x will be minimum. So from 1, let's write both inequalities. From 1, we found what? From first one, we found this. x squared minus x equal to 360. And from second one, it is x squared plus x equal to 180. And by just checking these two things, you can understand we can reach minimum x here. Not this part, but if you want to make sure, you can say x squared minus x minus 360 equal to 0, and x squared plus x minus 180 equal to 0. And if you solve for quadratic formula, it will be what? 1 negative b plus minus. 1 minus 4ac, which will be 4 times 360 over 2. And this one x will be negative 1 plus minus b squared 1 minus. Look for this one. You should know the qu if you don't know quadratic formula ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0. Then the root will be x equal to negative b plus minus b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And I'm using this formula is so much useful. Negative 1 plus minus 1 minus 4ac minus 4ac will be 4 times 180 over 2. And if you pay attention, it will be 721, negative 1 plus minus 721 over 2. And this one, if you check, it will be 1 plus minus 144. And this one, 1 over 2. And now, we know x is greater than 1. Because we know x is greater than 1, negative 1, you can't use that. So the first one will be 1 plus 1, 4, 4, 1 over 2. And the next one will be negative 1 plus 7. Because if you take negative, it will be a negative number. But x is greater than 1 and positive. So x is this in these two cases. Now, we, s we want to find minimum x. It, obviously, which one is minimum? This one. Okay? Now, the problem doesn't want exact x. It says what? It says, let's go to the problem. It says, what's x rounded up to closest integer? Look, 7 to 9 is what? 3 to the 6 is 27 squared. So we understand 7 to 1 is less than 7 to 9, which is 27 root of this. Greater than 26, because 26 is less than this. You can calculate. It is less than 7 to 1, 26 squared. So we can say what? Negative 1 plus root 7 to 1 over 2. You can replace it with 21, 27, 27 plus 27 over 2. It is x, a minimum x. Equal to negative 1 is greater than. Greater than negative 1 plus this one. 26 because root 7 to 1 is greater than 26 over 2. And here if you wanted to make sure it is 6, 7, 6. You should memorize 1 squared to 31 squared. They are useful in many problems. So here you say what? 26 minus 1, 15, 12.5 minimum x. 27 minus 1 third 26 over 2 third so here it is 12 it is 13 so the number is between 12 and 13 so we can it is around for example this sum here so the problem says what is between 12 and 13 rounded up so when a number is between 12 and 13 and x is here so what is x rounded up? 
the closest integer. So it will be what? 13. So the answer is what? The answer is B. Okay, so we proved this problem completely. And as I said, there are around 50 important formulas in geometry and also other topics. Algebra, combinatorics, number theory, if you want to learn them for Olympiad exam and other exam 2022, 2023, feel free to send a message and also next year. Feel free to send a message to my WhatsApp number in the description. And if you had any other answers and any other recommendation, feel free to comment below this video. Thanks for subscribing and turning on notification and like my videos.